what this is telling me is that I'm following too much. So, meaning that at some point, at some point, the circle was being set twice. So, meaning that I was trying to forward one thing and then I rewrote it to forward it to another thing, and then by the commitment was already set for the first one. When I tried to forward for the second one, it did not allow me to. So that's my interpretation of the error. Okay, I just need to research it more. But the, the fix to that is not to do this, but to do the first thing that I was doing, which was the correct way to set a page route, and then at the bottom, at the way bottom, redirect to the mapping method. So the correct way here is to actually oh boy. Right. The correct way, which is right here, is to actually do this. Right? So just set a page, a variable, so the dispatch is not being overridden. And I think and I pull back the user controller to post because you don't want to be able to go to the admin page, um, you know, by searching for it. You know, you need to do a post for it. So it's like secure, but it's not. <laughs> We're not in security class. That's good for now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so again, so when I need to log in with Joseph now. Two, two, two. I'm able to successfully log in as an admin. Okay, so that's the whole feature of server technology, Spring MPC, and now it comes the uh, testing part. So the testing part is like I told you guys also that the SRC serves as the application itself. Now if you want to create now a new testing environment, you need to be able to create a new source folder and call it test. New source folder. And this one is going to be called test, right? And in there, you do all your unit testing that you need to do. So, all we need to do the unit test is the, the DAOs. So, what I would create is a new package. I call it home insurance. The, and I can call it um, DAO test, that doesn't matter. Right, so once I create that, then I create the actual test class. And that will be uh, user DAO test. And then I begin my test there. So I, if right now I only have two methods, so that's what I will test. And the way I would test them is, remember those exercises that we, we created the JDBC? And that's the same way I would test those here. Okay? Nice of that. But I, I would test the, I think the, the most tricky one is the safe, right? Registration. Right? So I would do that one. But I don't have one by get by the deal. So, but I have one to get by email, so I can validate. Okay, so I'll, I can. This is a compromise. Public boy on uh, retesting get user by email test. And in this case, it's only up to you to use JUnit or testing James.
So a user DAO. New user DAO. Oh, my bad. We don't do that here. We need to create a user or a U. Import those. And follow up with the uh, before. Public void test test prep. And in here I will set up my wait. Uh, didn't I say we're gonna test the race, right? You guys save user. Yeah, you guys saw me, you guys didn't correct me. Save user. Alright, so we're gonna set up some So have some expected data. So this one is because that's the email to Tony at firstcolors.org. Uh, password is one, two, three, and he signed up. Also give the UDAO some reference. And um, let's go. So, if we say this, we're gonna we're gonna call the the save. So we need to validate that we saved it with the with the ID. So we're gonna say U D A O that register pass U, right? And um, we are gonna say this. We're gonna say assert that um, ID not equals to minus one. If that is true, then we are going to proceed on um, getting the user actual you by email with the expected. So you, you DAO that get email and pass you that get email. That's the expected one. And after that, follow up with a search. That uh, actual you that get email equals to you that get email and assert that. Actual you that get password equal to you that get password, and you can also assert that the roles are the same. And that's it. That's how you should test. After you have made the application, you should test all the DAOs and all the methods in that DAO. Cool. So that's my kind of case study. So would you make it a class for each method, by method in the DAO? Or so for every simple test, um, test that I need to do, so like for instance, um, let's say I have a, a get, e get by user by email, get safe, um, Save user. 
I can put that in the same test class in just different test cases. So they are simple. But something like um, get all users, you know, that's that is pretty intense. So I need to use a parameterized test, that will be a separate test class. In that case, we don't need all users, right? We are never pulling all users. We are just pulling one user, or you know, we are just every the end. Oh, for the home insurance? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you guys do. We don't need it. Yeah, so yeah. Don't need it. Any other questions? So now we will uh, start doing our own part, right? Huh? From now on, we'll be following this and start doing the whole part. Yeah. Oh, and in the admin part, uh, we have that cancel and renew, right? So, how are we going to do that with Spring? Because uh, so in, here we just call it the admin page. Right. So, in Spring, you can actually create a lot of this. So, you can create another method, call it. Um, um, cancel, cancel what? Cancel policies. Cancel policies. Um, and then give it to a policy cancel route. And then you do the, you decide whether you say do get or do post request. And then you use the DAOs in here. And essentially, you will do this. Right, so do the work with do yeah your work here and then return to whatever page you want. So this is the policy policy page here. Right? And as well, how you you how you set objects to the request in here is by saying um um the nav the add object and that is the key and this is the the value and that is and that is going to the request object so you can access it in the request object in the JSP. Right? If you want session, if you want to treat it as the server itself, you can actually do this. Um if I go back to the servlet, you see that I have a HTTP servlet here, right? So I can actually give it. So you see how I can get the parameters, I can get um, the attributes from here. I can also do the same thing. I can also do the same thing here in the user controller by just providing that class there. Now I'm able to get the parameters from the form and get attributes and actually get the session from it by saying HTTP session equals session request the get session. Right, so you can do the same side thing and even more in here, right? Yeah, so to, to make your life easier, always use the HTTP server request when you're submitting forms or you want to get an attribute or you want to get a session, just pass it on the on the method and you can get all those things the same way as you do it in the server. Yeah. That's my take. What 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 are we doing?
put some uh, credentials and then click on login and make sure that it went to the right page. So what do you, do you recommend that you should you like uh, suppose we make this make one step and test it or at the end we will test how to build it? Oh, um, what I recommend is actually you uh, create the login registration and then like, do the testing just like I did here. And, you know, I, I have not completed the whole case study but I have tested unit test the DAOs and maybe do the automation now for the selenium just for the login registration. Okay. Any other questions? And we sent across the whole folder as well as the schema of the database. Are we supposed to send the database that we create the usernames and passwords? You mean when you submit? All, all you need to do is submit the whole project and the uh, the code for the database, but you don't need to submit the, the, da the data that the database has. Okay, so just like the create tables and all that. Exactly. And as an archive file, right? It's nothing like a board or anything like that. No, no, no. You're just the whole project and the code. I have a like, uh, general question about the uh, like requirements, right? What they they show a like picture or, or, a, or a, you know that's how it should looks like, right? So can we like uh, I mean do a little less or work on that like uh, maybe not too many work on CSS only like? Uh, oh, don't worry about the style. Yeah, the functionality is the most. You guys, many you guys are software tested and web developers. Yeah. So don't worry about the style. That in the setting comes <laughs> after you have the com the case already complete, get created. Um, how much you have? So what I will do now is upload this to LMS so you guys have it available and please do not leave here until you have at least what I have right now. Put it in the GitHub.